You were trying to find the distance of a segment RS when we're only given the endpoints. Often you're going to find that you don't have a 4x4 four four whiteboard that has a graph on it. So sometimes it's nice to do it without having to graph it. When we're trying to do something like this, I, tip, I typically use the Pythagorean shortcut, or what we call the Pythag shortcut. What we're doing is we're finding the distances of the triangle that we're actually forming without having to draw it on the board. What we need to do on this is we need to line them up vertically. And we're going to take each x-coordinate and each y-coordinate and going to figure the distance between them. Now, when we're talking about distances, we're always going to be talking about positive numbers. So we go from 1 to negative 3. The distance from 1 to 3 is 4. There's four spots on the integer number line. If I would go from 5 to negative 3, my distance would be 8. What I need now is these are my two sides of the triangle. We can just use the Pythagorean theorem using these two numbers. So I would have 8 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 8 squared is 64. 4 squared is 16 is equal to c squared. 64 and 16, when we sum them, would be 80 is equal to c squared. And again, to solve, we need to take the square root and take the square root. c is equal to the square root of 80. Because of my dislike of decimals, we'll just leave it right there.